everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm going to go through some paper packs that I picked up over at Michael's they do have some of their Christmas uh, papers out already so that is awesome at the time that I went and got these they were on a buy one get two free so for $19.99 you'd get three packs I did see um, earlier this week that they had another sale on their hot buys you know they always have some kind of a sale going on on those so be sure to check that out and I will check out before I upload this video I'll check and see what the current um, promo is and I'll go ahead and put that down in the comments I'm down in the notes so make sure to take a look at the description so this first pack <clears throat> I'm gonna do a flip through so you can see what everything looks like this first pack is called evergreen cabin um, one of the things I like about a lot of these packs is the extra that they put on the this page and this um, basically this pack a lot of the pages are um, heat embossed with um, white glitter for the snow so I think that's really pretty um, we've got red plaid, got flowers and berries, a lot of sentiments, snow over some pine boughs, snow on brown or craft, some more winter boughs, and then this page is kind of special. I know it just looks like cut aparts, but instead these are actually punch outs. So the tags are already ready for you to punch out and use. Um, you can use those as embellishments or do what I tend to do and back everything on some heavy duty cardstock to give them more, um, more stability and make it thicker. So you've got two pages of those. This one is a pretty winter village. So you could use this part as the, the centerpiece on a card and this for background or you could use it for scrapbooking or making some boxes and such for the holidays. <coughs> this one is snowflakes and the little circles are um, heat embossed in that pretty glitter. Got red with some berries on there, a black um, plaid, green trees. I'm going to try to flip through these pretty quick because this is my second time around on it and I've got six paper pads to show you so um, so stay tuned for that. We've got the stripes, got mistletoe. I love this one. This one is a wood um, panel but it's got the snow on there and it just kind of filters down. The snow is heat embossed so that is really pretty and shiny. We've got another um, plaid. We've got some stripes, birch boughs or birch trees another plaid. This one is a red knit pattern. Got little houses with the heat embossed roofs and then little deer um, throughout. Got this red wood grain and then we've got this, this snow and some green trees. So that is again Evergreen Cabin next paper pad I'm gonna look at is called, called Miss Claus. First time when I glanced at it I didn't realize it was a Christmas pack and then when I did it's like oh my gosh that is just too cute so I had to get that. Um, on the front cover you can tell that this one is kind of a modern theme. We've got a lot of pinks in there not the traditional colors and we've got this girl shopping so that is kind of cute. Starts off with don't get your tinsel in a tangle. I'm thinking I might make a sign to hang up in my house for that one. That's kind of cool. We've got <coughs> some packages. And for the, all these paper pies, I've got two copies of each page, so that is kind of cool. We've got pink, um, pink trees. We've got pink polka dots. Eggnog, please. The shoppers. Pink plaid. We've got a nice pretty wreath some pink and red stripes, another one of those pink, um, pla pink polka dots. This one's the reverse of the other. Got girl looking in a shop window. I really like that one. This one is really pretty and elegant. We've got the red with the gold foiling on it. Um, this is, pad doesn't have the heat embossing, but it does have foiling in different places. Got a girl shopping and Christmas light. And here she is after she gets finished shopping. She is pretty much exhausted so she needs to be drinking that cup of coffee down there. We've got some polka dots. That'll be a good background. We've got some sentiments of cut aparts here. Naughty and nice. Point me to the mistletoe and hello Christmas. A bunch of wreaths on the background. Green plaid. Saying the, uh, uh, 
This one says it's the most wonderful time of the year. I think that is just gorgeous. That would be good for a scrapbook. We've got a leopard print, some green trees, We've got some cool flowers. I'm not sure exactly which type of flowers it is, but it does have holly and holly berries in there. We've got another cut apart. This one is kind of an interesting plaid, makes me think of women's skirts. And we've got some smaller of those flowers. So that is it for Miss Claus. So that is pretty cool. Next pad I have is a Holiday Ballet. This one is themed for the Nutcracker Suite. I thought that was just adorable. Got a blue background with snow. Got some, I'm not sure what kind of vine those are. We've also got the cookies. I love the cookies. Those are just too cute. This is a nice background where it's green with um, white. Got a bunch of the nutcrackers. Got a nice um, red and green pattern. We've got a ton of sentiment strips. A lot of these could be used for tags. We've got the to and from. <coughs> We've got some stripes here. It does have like a, some gold in the middle. This is not foil. It's just printed. We've got some poinsettias. Got a bunch of the dancers from that Nutcracker Suite. And here we've got a lot of the characters that are all in these cute little frames. I thought that was just adorable. Each of those could basically be um, cut out and used as separate embellishments. We've got Peak with the Snowfall. We've got some cut aparts, a lot of which are already designed to be tags. And these, again, are cut aparts, they are not pop outs. This one is a nice background in pink with the different characters from them, Nutcracker Sweep. Another saying saying it's the most wonderful year, time of the year. Again, a bunch of the uh, <coughs> characters and set from, um, um, from the Nutcracker Sweep. To be honest, this makes me think of wrapping paper. And it's too thick for wrapping paper, but the design is just gorgeous. So we've got that same design we had earlier that was in the green and white. This time it's dark blue on blue. We've got a tree. This one looks like it would be used best for a scrapbook on page, but I'm probably going to make cards out of that. We've got some more of those vines, this time in green. Some cut of hearts, peace on earth and joy. We've got candy canes. And then we've got our washi strips. And this one's got the larger of the, the characters. So this one could be fuzzy cut out and, and use those for different things. Um, I've got a scan and cut. So if you have a scan and cut machine, this is perfect for that. You can cut out all those um, little designs. And then we've got, actually I just had a thought. This is the, the stage. So if you cut these out, they would be perfect size to fit on the stage as the dancer. So you could create a little scene for your kids. That would be kind of interesting. <coughs> so that is it for Holiday Ballet. Next paper pack we've got is called Safe Freeze. And this one does have heat embossing as well. This time it's in the green. So all these places in green that's shiny and glittery, those are done in heat embossing. This first one, this looks kind of like an advent calendar. So you've got it counting down from 1 to 25. And that is kind of cool. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with that. This one has um, poinsettias. We've got red with some snowfall. We've got some poinsettias. This is really, really cute. You've got all the packages and, and such going around. Snow covering everything. And then you've got a bunch of it that is heat embossed in that green. Got a bunch of little snowmen and their tree and um, in the truck got sentiment strips, a red plaid, <coughs> sorry about that, um, craft color and with um, red snowflakes, we've got red and green stripes, the green glittery is heat embossed, we've got some red berries, some cut aparts that would good, be good for some 6x6 six six card fronts, we've got another plaid, this is another real cute one with all the little trucks and candy canes and hot chocolate. This one's real pretty with the poinsettias. Again, the green is the part that is heat embossed. And we've got a bunch of sentiment, uh, sentiment cut aparts. That is really cute. Ton of little snowmen. Happy holidays with plaid background. We've got green with that snow. Some more bigger red berries. 
and then happy holidays with snow and our little snow people down at the bottom. And then we've got a bunch of different wreaths and again a bunch of snow people with a red background and love the cute little kitty with the hat on and they're all reindeer. And then we've got some pages of all sentiments. So that is it for Save Freeze. Next pad, oh, <laughs> I picked up too much. Next pad <coughs> is Sugar and Sparkle. Now the color for this one reminded me of the one that we just picked up at Michael's for Halloween. That was that pink peekaboo. Uh, so this one is just, it's not traditional colors, but it is very, very, very pretty. So we've got <coughs> Santa, some sentiments. This is a cut of hearts page. Santa sentiments and the Nutcracker in pink. This I think is supposed to be like our little glass designs. We've got these gorgeous glass bottles some pink um, pattern. This looks like fur with some snowfall over it. And then we've got some cut up cards here that would be perfect size for the front of some 6x6 cards. Making spirits bright, big sign. This looks like um, a bouquet technique that I used um, about a year and a half ago on a card where it kind of looks like it's to me, it looks like either glitter or water where you're um, seeing partially through it. So it's a little muted. I just think that is just too pretty. That's a kind of a camera technique. Got Santa in all in pink. Again, we've got that fur. This time it's got a little bit of a pink tint to it. Got pink with the gold stars, some pink trees. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year showing over a forest that the whole um, image is tinted in pink. This is a grayish color instead of pink, but that's real pretty. Some pink poinsettias. The washi tape strips. We did have some gold foiling on there. We got pink with snowflakes. <coughs> Front of a building. I think this is just too pretty. It could be used for so many things. How many times do you do window type cards? This would be great for that. You could cut that out and have something else in the background, or you could just use this as the background with people walking in front. There's so many different things you could use that with. And we've got this ornament, and I just realized that the image is of a sequence. So they, each of those, it, I thought it was rough, but it's actually where they it laid sequence and took a picture of it. So we've got that. Got white with pink snowflakes. And we've got pink stripes. Again, a ton of little Santas, all in pink. Uh, this one is looks like the, the leaves to me look like they have a bit of a goldish sheen to them. We've got little ornaments all in pink and white and gold. And that is it for Sugar and Sparkle. And now to the last book that I've got. This one is, again, slightly non-traditional. It's more with burgundies instead of red and then like a deep evergreen instead of your traditional hall of Christmas green. So we start off with <coughs> this, <coughs> sorry, this um, cranberry or burgundy dark purplish color. Got some gold stripes. Again, a different design in that same dark color. This is one of my favorite pages. I'm probably going to hoard this forever because it is just too gorgeous. We've got some green in the background and then we've got all this gold foiling on there. That is just too nice and some nice and textured. And then we've got <coughs> some holly and holly berries, snowflakes, a bunch of flowers, we've got a wreath, it's merry and bright, we've got um, mistletoe I think, all in gold, again some more of those flowers with a white background. This one is our, our washi strips, we've got cut aparts here. Burgundy with the flowers. This is one of my favorite pages. It's just so pretty. And then we've got a bunch of ornaments and baubles. We've got green for the snowflakes. Green pattern paper. A bunch of different images on here. This is another one that you can cut out pretty much anything on here and then use it as your center, <laughs> your focal point on your card. And this, I think, would make a really pretty card just on its own. Believe in the magic of Christmas. And then we've got another green pattern. 
gold foiled polka dots. Again, those flowers with the burgundy. Some more cut apart. And then some more of what I think is probably mistletoe. And then the, uh, the floral of those, those flowers just covering the whole paint thing. So this one is again called, this is called Gilded Berry. All of these paper packs I picked up over at Michael's on sale. So hopefully you'll be able to find these or find some others that you like just as well. Um, I will let you know what I make with these. I'll be, I'm starting up on my holiday crafting right now. So you guys, um, stay tuned for that. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting.